my name's Janet Christensen. I'm originally from Connecticut and I came out here 20 years ago. Um, I did my first ram in 2007 as a two-woman ram and the whole time I said no, 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 ever, never, never, never doing solo. Oh, but uh, <laughs> it happened. So I, I did solo last year, uh, well I didn't finish, um, and I'm coming back this year to set things right. <laughs> So what did you uh, do differently My in your training this year? Exceptional crew. <laughs> a lot of things. Um, I was really much more careful about getting enough rest between hard workouts and I got a much later start so instead of peaking in April, May, I was getting stronger each month to month so hopefully I'm still on that upward trend. Things we did wrong last year, we, we spent a lot of time figuring out how to spend less time off the bike, um, optimizing sleep, because sleep doesn't always help. You know, a short nap can slow you down more than it can really help in recovery, and skipping sleep is the worst thing of all. Um, as far as nutrition and, you know, the whole edema issue, that we spent a lot of time talking about that and things we're going to try and, um, you know, just... <clears throat> um, what is your secret on nutrition? What are the things that you rely on the most for a, a competition like this? Uh, I stick to your basic energy bars, water, e-caps, and nothing, nothing really exceptional, but this year I want to try and have more protein, because I've always been kind of low on protein, and at one point last year I got a, a wicked stomach ache and I couldn't eat for about three hours, and right after that is when the edema started. It might be just coincidental, but there's some rumor that low blood protein can trigger edema, and uh, we're just gonna try everything we can to um, minimize it. I don't think we'll prevent it, but just minimize it. Um, I was on a liquid diet last year and never again. I, I just, it's one of those things people say, oh, you have to do the liquid diet. And it's like, why? <laughs> Who says? So tell me, um, you said when you did the, the two-person ram, you said never again, never will I go. What changed your mind? What made you decide to come back for the second year in a row as a solo rider? I think I did very well in 2007. I mean, I rode better than I ever rode before. And so when you do something like that, how do you beat that? How do you, how do you, you know, you want more, I guess. And the next, the next thing is um, solo. I mean, what else is there? So I guess that's how it happened. I had a great crew and they, they kept encouraging me like, oh, you gotta do this solo. And so um, that's probably <laughs> how it happened. I'm a software engineer and that's, that's kind of good because I can get off my feet, I can get a lot of rest between training, but it's kind of bad because it's very sedentary. I can barely stand being still for that many hours a day. <laughs> but it does, um, it does, does allow you to train, rest, train some more. Um, you're not on your feet, you're not, um, you know, hurting your back or anything. So it's, and, it, and you, I make enough money to afford a ram. <laughs> <laughs> That's important, important consideration. Really so, important yeah. because the race entry fees aren't the biggest cost. No, <laughs> that's just dipping your toe in the water. But this year with the bad economy, a lot of the, the um, airfares, uh, hotel rates, um, we, we got a good deal on the van, and gas prices are a little bit lower. Last year it was like, whew, steep. And we're a smaller crew, um, and I'm going to probably um, – go really fast and be done in nine days. No. Fantastic. <laughs>